In this video, I thought we'd talk about wild wolf myths, fairy tales, conspiracy theories, and outright lies about wolves. There's more BS out on the net about wolves than what you see, even with mythical creatures like unicorns, space aliens, Bigfoot, and chupacadras. I will post links in the description for sources for anyone who wants to get more facts from the science world. So, break out the tinfoil hats before the black helicopters come and take you away to Area 51 because we are going to dive into some reality when it comes to wolves. Myth number one, wolves kill for sport. This is one of the most laughable out there, but also one of the most highly repeated. Starvation is actually one of the leading mortality factors when it comes to wolves, so they really don't kill for sport. A wolf can hold only about 20 pounds of meat in a digestive, digestive cycle, so often it can't eat a whole elk in one day. Wolves often cache, that is they bury meat that they can't eat right away, or sometimes they just come back to it after a period of time. What perpetuates this myth is wolves sometimes come in and kill a group of elk or more elk die in the panic from a wolf attack then humans show up and scare the wolves off and come in with a camera often stacking the elk up for a picture like they did in Wyoming in this famous depredation story whereas if humans had not arrived the pack of wolves would have fed for weeks on these elk thanks Bubba and Billy Bob Dr. David Meech is among all of the wolf biologists who claim this myth to be laughable. Meech noted arctic wolves that fed for months on muskox kills in his decade-long field research on Ellesmere Island. <laughs> myth number two, the Canadian super wolf was the wrong wolf and an invasive species. Yellowstone had a mini wolf that was slightly larger than a coyote. This myth is believed to have started by lawyers for the cattle industry in the 90s to try and claim a conspiracy by the federal government to bring in an invasive species to Yellowstone. Pictures taken of the last wolves killed in Yellowstone blow this one right out of the water. Also, the eradicated wolves would have also been feeding on bison and elk, which should be obvious to anyone. The wolves that were brought in were just a tad bit larger than the bones they had left over from the dead wolves in the park. As Dr. Doug Smith, the head biologist at Yellowstone, pointed out in his writings, they needed a population of wolves that were already feeding on elk because that's what they had way too many of in Yellowstone. You also had to have provide numerous environmental impact studies before doing any kind of task like the Yellowstone wolf reintroduction. Just like 9-11 inside job theory, that would take one massive conspiratorial effort to pull that one off. This myth has also been perpetuated by the writings of a naturalist in the 1800s who claimed that there were many different species of and subspecies of gray wolves in North America. That has proven not to be the case as wolf biologists and geneticists mainly recognize that Canis lupus bailey, the Mexican gray wolf, is the only subspecies living in the lower 48. There are no morphological or genetic differences in Yellowstone wolves or wolves in Minnesota. Can there be some size differentiation in different populations or packs? Yes, there can. The molly pack, for instance, in Yellowstone are slightly larger than the other packs because they have been feeding on bison which provides more protein. This doesn't meet, meet the requirements for being labeled as a subspecies though. Barstool biologists will argue all day but they don't provide proof of course because it's a myth. Another popular wolf myth is that the wolves are part of a UN conspiracy to put an end to rural life as we know it. Somehow all the tinfoil hatters want to jump on to the Alex Jones train. 
This one has even been repeated by Lynn McIrvin, one of the largest cattle ranchers in the state of Washington. Say what you want about the UN, but there's not a shred of evidence that they will use wolves in a USA takeover. This is just more madness by people who choose to take out their life misery on a species of animal. Another popular wolf myth is that wolves ate all the elk after wolf reintroduction. Hmm, nope. Elk numbers have remained above goals in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, and they still are today, despite extensive habitat loss, overhunting, and poaching. Elk counts are all published by each state agency. But another popular conspiracy theory is the agencies are covering up the real numbers to sell more tags, which is then debunked by the actual number of elk killed each year. But hey, never let any pesky facts get in the way of a good conspiracy. Um, also elk were at around 20,000 before wolf reintroduction in the park and now they're about seven or 8,000 each year. Um, there were too many elk in the park before wolf reintroduction and now you have balance. Uh, sometimes wolves do get a little bit too much credit too. Um, another myth is that wolves changed the course of the river in Yellowstone and brought back the beavers. While wolves helped to greatly improve the ecosystem in Yellowstone, not all of what was in a video on YouTube is true. Yes, elk were over browsing big time and this improved habitat for beavers when wolves were brought in. But the rivers still run the same course and beavers were also reintroduced to Yellowstone Park. Numerous peer-reviewed studies from scientists all over the world back this up. One more wolf myth is that wolves only kill the sick, weak, and old. While they do mostly go after that group, they can and do take out healthy prey. Um, statistically, since they will take out mostly the weak, this will cause a strengthening of the herd that you probably remember from your old high school science classes. And one of my favorite wolf myths of all time. If bitten by a wolf, you could turn into one when the moon is full. Believe it or not, some rural areas in Eastern European countries still believe in werewolves. Funny but true. So there you have it. I hope you will dig even to even more fact-based information and learn even more. Wolves are the most studied animal on the planet and there is plenty of real science and no excuses to fall for the BS.